Okay guys, in this video I'm going to show how you can print triangle of stars and right family of stars. Okay, let's begin. So if you understood the last video how we printed a rectangle of stars, you'll be able to understand it quite easily. So here basically what we're going to do is apply the, the triangle structures like this. And let me take your example. Okay, the, so in the first line we have just one star, in the second line we have just two stars three stars and increasing by two and the third line you gotta have five stars yeah that's how it is each line and increasing by two and that's the concept okay now uh, let's say move the x equal to one and here we're gonna use three loops one loops for traversing through the column one loops for printing spaces one loops for printing printing the stars so okay move first loop first five, it, this cx initialize the number of column so it's to five and now yeah use our first loop and this loop will be used to traverse the column and here we're pushing the value of cx into the stack and we're gonna use the cx to initially to capitalize on loop two so uh, initialize another CX for loop two. Okay, so loop two gonna we're gonna use loop two for printing spaces. All right. Um, we are all right. We're gonna initialize the CX letter. Just have a look. Move. So we have to print spaces. So. The ASCII code for spaces is uh, 32, I guess. Yeah. So I yeah, put 32 into DL. All right. Now. Now we're gonna write a uh, loop two. So loop two. We're gonna print our spaces. 21 each and loop to how many types? Times to CX. It's gonna loop up to CX, and now we gonna have to print stars. So let's move stars into DL. All right. Now, now let's initialize CX. Move CX into BX. So now here we initialize the CX into BX. So the so basically the concept is here in the first line we have to print first stars bx is one in the first uh, iteration bx is one so we have to print one star in the, in the second iteration the bx uh, will be one will be two but we're gonna increase twice and make it three the second iteration bx will be three but we're gonna increase it twice to make it five to, to print five stars and this just like Take a look at uh, the ledger. Understand? In loop three, we're gonna use it to print stars. So int 21h up until the loops cx loop l3. Now we have to print a new line. So you all know how to print new line. Move 10 into dl in 21h. Move 13 into dl in 21h. Now we're gonna have to increase the value of bx by twice. I told you why. Twice, okay. Now we have to pop the value of cx. So I I told you how sh why should we pop the value of cx? Now we're gonna just loop l1. So each time it's gonna pop the value of cx and loop's gonna go there and execute all the things from here again and again until the cx is zero this cx is zero so okay let's run this now this shows us a triangle which is five column so we are actually printing those oh sorry run again we're actually concerned about these spaces not these spaces okay we don't have to care about this, just these spaces are a bit difficult. 
okay so now we're gonna see how we can convert this into a right fragment if we just don't increase it twice just increase once so just to look uh, show you all right the first pyramid we have one star in the first column and uh, two star in the second column three star in the third column that's how we increased by one so if we just increase vx by one each time it's gonna give us a pyramid right sided pyramid sorry it's gonna give us a left sided pyramid and right sided pyramid is more easier so here we are concerned about left sided pyramid and triangle we have shown the what is triangle and the this is how we can do left sided pyramid and we are concerned about these stars we don't care about these, these spaces these spaces are the ones we have to make sure we get it right that's how we can print uh, reverse pyramid and triangle thank you everyone goodbye